boards. When you really need a lost cat or a guitar lesson, bulletin boards are there. Bulletin boards. Cartoons about bulletin boards? I'm in heaven! The whole conspiracy leads back to Rain O'Randall. The bulletin board is just a file for Miss Smith. Does she have a filing cabinet full of kitten posters? But Miss Jones plans her bulletin board. Instead of eating. She selects her materials, organizes her arrangement, tweets for an hour, evaluates the display, and then uses it as an effective teaching device. Which is weird, because she's a dentist. Decide on the appropriate lettering for captions. A brush, lettering pen, crayon, chalk, felt nib pen, or pin-up letters can be used. Did you say pin-up? The lettering pen comes in many different sizes. From petite to big and tall. Break the crayon and use the flat side for a wide line. Or just click on settings and increase the point size. The felt nib pen is always filled and ready for use. Someday presidents will use these to scrawl their ramblings for posterity. The brush is effective, but takes a little more practice. You probably couldn't handle brushes, so let's just move on. Chalk gives a pleasant, soft line. Perfect for outlining corpses or drawing magical doors on brick walls. Cut paper letters can be used with both two- and three-dimensional effects. If the budget allows, a supply of three-dimensional plaster letters will add distinction to any arrangement. Be sure to get bogged down in style at the cost of clarity. Try your arrangement. Is it what you want? This layout is commonplace. It lacks punch because it is too formal. Frankly, it's an embarrassing failure and it makes me sick. Here, the informal layout is too scattered. The paper shapes and the blank areas are too evenly divided. Look, just move and let me do it, okay? Here, the same material is used, but there is a tying together of shapes through line movement. Now your repent or burn poster will really pop. Notice the balanced distribution of blank areas. That's all I can think about. By placing illustrations on the pieces of cut paper, we can see how important the blank areas are to emphasize the illustrations. Next, we'll sell the blank areas as ad space. Choose the proper fastening devices. Plastic head stick pins are easy to use. Map pins add color. Add red yarn and you're ready to expose the deep state. The plain pin is least expensive and most commonly used. Plain, you say? Interesting, I'm listening. Masking tape is a must. It can be rolled and used to adhere two paper surfaces together. For instance, you could tape a dollar to a trading card or a search warrant to a Chinese food menu. Tape with adhesive on both sides is also useful. These tapes are excellent to use when a wall should not be marred. The automatic stapler or the manual transmission stapler and ordinary desk stapler are very handy for mounting clippings neatly to any bulletin board. Okay. All of these devices can be obtained at your local stationery store. Or in that one aisle in Target next to the gift bags. Always use simple, easy to read lettering to make the catchy caption or headline a part of the whole layout. Yeah, don't write it upside down in Latin in another a piece room. The plasterer screen is used for textural interest. Note that a wrist pin cushion saves time. So does just stealing crap from Google Images. Whenever possible, ask questions to involve the reader in getting the point across. Do you participate in sports? Did you see Night Court last night? Are you now or have you ever been a member of the Communist Party? Try to limit the information and illustrations. Get to the point in as simple a way as possible. Omit inconvenient facts and present misleading data. You sure you want to leave that there? Plain pins have been used here, but the material is pulled out to the head of the pin, giving a pleasing three-dimensional effect. <laughs> Always evaluate the display. Is it attractive? And does it hold attention? I'm sorry, what? Is it well organized and neat? Is it easily read? Uh... Does it say what you want it to say? 
does it achieve the goals of the glorious supreme leader? Now let's look at some bulletin boards done by different classroom teachers and pupils. Design can be fun when there's no apparent point to it. Construction paper has been used to add color to black and white photographs. Oh, this must be Ted Turner's bulletin board. The branch and leaves of a tree provide a three-dimensional effect which is in keeping with the subject. Also makes your board more fun to destroy. Here, a quantity of information has been organized into an easily read teaching unit. As easily read as a long-form tax document. Notice how the lettering has been related to the illustrations. Oh, you mean not at all? Yes, I did notice that. A mask and tent made in three dimension provide an unusual effect. A spiraling madness. Color paper in an abstract shape holds the whole design together. But why? Here again, the reader is involved by a question. Simple lettering for children has been used. You just invented Comic Sans, you monster. The shelves have been constructed with yarn, cardboard, and pins. This should start falling apart somewhere around the middle of your presentation. Milk straws have been used for the lettering and radiating lines. Hard to imagine that this display will one day be controversial, possibly illegal. The ingenious use of coat hangers for shelves provides an excellent means of displaying small three-dimensional objects. Let's explore a crime family. Strings easily locate the different rocks on display. Chalk has been used for the lettering. Oh, slow down. Colored string adequately gives the feeling of rain, while wire, shaped into flowers, adds further interest. Starfish, screen, and rickrack create a distinctive feature. And who doesn't love a good feature? The up-to-date teacher takes advantage of the bulletin board as an effective teaching device because it is a powerful communicating medium. Bulletin boards have brought down entire governments. A teacher who follows these few basic suggestions can better work with children to plan, obsess, evaluate, misconstrue, and use the bulletin board. All this just to learn the teacher's name. Next time, dioramas, bulletin boards to the extreme. Thank you for watching. Fun with Shorts is made possible by Patreon and viewers like these. For as little as a dollar per video, you can see early and exclusive shorts. Also, please check out the newly updated funwithshorts.com for the latest video downloads, DVDs, and, at long last, merch! Okay, that's the end. Bye!